Hi friends, I'm Barois and this is our 17th video in PyQt5 GUI development. In this lesson, we are going to learn that how you can use QPrinter class and also QPrint Preview classes. So now let's get started. I'm going to open my QD designer. So I'm going to just say uh, PyQt5 designer and now after opening of the QT designer okay now this is my QT designer after this I'm going to choose widget and I'm going to click on the create button so this is my window the first thing I need I'm going to add a vertical layout in here and in the vertical layout I'm going to add a text edit Also, I'm going to add a horizontal layout in here. And in the horizontal layout, I want two push buttons. So this is the, my first push button, and this is my second push button. So this is, uh, I'm going to just say print file, and also uh, print preview. And I'm going to right click on the window and I want to choose layout vertically. So now this is my window. After this, we need to save this. I'm going to just save this and I want to call it uh, print.ui, printd.ui. So after saving the file, you need to copy the file and bring the file, paste the file in the scripts folder. So now scripts folder is located uh, in, the, in your Python installation. And after that, uh, you can go to the scripts folder. Because in here we are using PyY UIC module. So we are using this. Um, uh, this is used for converting UI file into Python file. So I'm going to paste my file in here, my UI file. So this is my UI file. And after that, I'm going to open uh, the terminal in here. So right click and I'm going to just choose open in terminal. And now this is my terminal and you can see the location is the scripts folder. And now I'm going to just say by UIC5. And you need to give the name of your UI file and uh, so for the output I'm going to just say print dialog.py okay now it's converted and uh, if we see in our scripts folder it should be in here uh, yeah we can see print dialog.py and I want to uh, cut this and bring and bring this in the in this folder so now it's in print dialog okay now this is the converted file and you can see created by pykt5 ui code generator and this is the latest version of pykt5 now these are the files let me just show you uh, Uh, like this you can change this object if you want uh, so let me just change this from pyqt5 dot qt widgets import q widget because we're using q widget and now if I run this okay now you can see that we have a text edit with two buttons print file and print preview so now first I'm going to click uh, work on the print file so for this, uh, the first thing we need, we need to import uh, from pygt5.qprint support, we need to import qprinter and also we need to import qprint dialog. So after this, I'm going to just create a method in here. So I'm going to just say def print file and uh, in here uh, first you need to create the object of your printer so printer q printer and we are going to use q printer dot high, res high resolution 
and so you can see that there are different uh, page formats and we are going to use high resolution and now we need to create the object of our uh, QPrint dialog so we can just say QPrint dialog and we need to add our printer in here and also the parent itself now we are going to check if uh, so it should be dialog so if dialog dot execute is q print dialog dot accepted we are going to uh, print our uh, text from the text edit so we can just say self dot text edit dot print and we are going to add the printer in here uh, now we need to connect this uh, with the push button so in here uh, you can see we have uh, I haven't changed the ID for this push buttons now I don't know which one is related to print and now let me just check this for the print file so it's push button now this is related to the so this button and I'm going to just say uh, solve dot push button dot click the dot connect and our method name is solve dot print file uh, now we are going to run this so now you can write something and you can just click on the print file you can see that we have a nice print dialog and you can print from here uh, so right now I don't have any printer installed but uh, you can add pages and you can add number of copies and click on print so now this was our so some we have error in here let me just run this again Okay, guys now the problem is in here it is accepted and I have message built this and now if I run this and if I print file and if I close this and there's no problem so now so this was for uh, printing the file now if you want to add a print preview dialog so how we can do this uh, now for this uh, the first thing you need you need to import qprint uh, preview dialog and after this uh, in here we need to create our method so the first method is uh, our diff print preview and we are going to pass printer in here so this is just for uh, print previewing our text from the text edit. So we can just say self dot text edit dot print, and we want to add the printer in here. So now we uh, we are going to create another method for uh, populating the dialog of print preview. So for this we are going to just say print uh, preview dialog. Uh, the first thing you need you need to create the object of Q printer and we are going to just use Q printer dot high resolution and now we're going to create our uh, preview dialog in here and we can just say Q print preview dialog uh, in here you need to uh, pause your printer and also self and now we can say preview dialog dot paint requested dot connect and we are going to connect this with the print preview that we have already created in here so with this method so we can say self dot uh, print preview 
so after adding this at the end you need to just execute this so we can say preview dialog dot uh, execute and now we need to connect this with the push button that we have uh, so let me just find so it's the push button 2 and we can say cell dot push button 2 dot clicked dot connect and we want to connect the print preview dialog so print preview dialog and now I'm going to run this so if I write something in here uh, for example welcome to and uh, now if I click on the print preview so you can see we have our print preview in here a uh, nice dialog and you can see and also you can print the file so like this you can work with the QPrinter class uh, if you have any question please let me know and uh, if you want the source code you can just check my website geekscoders.com and you can get the source codes from there